I went from condos to pops house on calls now bus routes and the one person who had the key to my heart took it and checked out and, and you know is this around the same time you went through the situation with your, your kids and everything is, is this why well when, when yeah you well you know what I, I went through that then coming home again from prison uh I got into it with the homies I was smoking I smashed the LA got into it with a couple homies and I got on for a minute that's where I met one of my baby mamas. Uh, so I was down there on the run for about a year. Then I got violated, came back. I came back. Uh, they put an ankle monitor on me. I told them my family was in Vegas. They weren't trying to hear it. I went to McDonald's, cut the ankle monitor off, went back to my family. Uh, you know, uh, process of that, caught another violation. Then my family came down to downtown LA to a shelter. Uh, uh, my baby mama and my two kids. Uh, and I was in those classes doing what I had to do. Wind up getting a, a, a house in uh, Lancaster. Was out there with my baby mama, uh, my two kids. I was a stay home dad, taking care of all the kids. Uh, me and the baby mama get into it. She uh, threw boiling water in my face. Uh, wow. I, ju I jumped on the highway, face burnt up. Uh, my two kids. My son on my lap, smashed to LA. Uh, they wind up taking me to jail. Uh, I had the kid come home, I still had the kids. Uh, they wind up taking the kids from me later on. Uh, fought for two years to get them back. They finally gave them back to her. You know, uh, you know, still in contact with them now though, but uh, yeah, I was a stay home dad, but then when when she burned my face and I smashed back to L.A., I came back to Slauson and Crenshaw. Mm. It brought me right back to Nymph, and I would show up every day like Home Depot, man, y'all need some help. <laughs> I'd be cleaning the parking lot, you yeah. know, sweeping this shit, you know what I mean, every day. Yeah, then uh, I did that for about a month or two. Then uh, uh, I think Nymph said, yeah, I'll holler at Sam or something. Then and Sam got it, like, hey, you want to work? I'm like, yeah, started working. So uh -huh. I was like, I was at the beginning when it started, then I fell off. Then at the end, when everything was coming together, I was like the last employee that got hired at the end. Yeah, you know, yeah. At the end, you know, I was at the beginning starting it, but at the, I came on the end, I was like the last full circle. Everything had just finally came together. It just got in the studio with Nymph, just did a song. Uh, everything had just kind of came full circle. and. Uh, the day, the day that the incident happened, I was telling him how proud I was. Like, man, you finally made it. You finally got a break. He, he worked his whole career. He never stopped, every day. And I used to be like, how you do it? I couldn't, like, it was amazing to me seeing him flying around the world. Where you going, bro, in the studio? You know, he drinking some tea. Here, man, read this book. And he just constantly working, working. Then uh, prior to his death, I see him and Lauren London. They going down Slauson on a, on, on a four-wheeler. Mm. I'm like, nigga, put a helmet on that girl. That nigga ain't having fun. The next morning I come to work, that nigga sitting in the parking lot on the floor with her, rolling up a backwood. Like, nigga, you bored. Nigga, <laughs> the film, we just did the DJ Cali video. So he was in the hood, just, yeah. he finally made it. He yeah. finally, because all the mixtapes he did, those were mixtapes. So everything built up for Victory Lab. Yeah, so yeah. by the time we did the Victory Lab, hanging up posters, then the whole rollout around the world, then it's like, okay, Victory Lap is wrapping up. What's next? And the dumb shit happened. Yeah, yeah. And I and I could tell, like, you know, these are like very vivid memories to you. Cause when I see you talking about it, it's almost like you looking at, yeah. you know, that yeah. exact moment in, you know, your life and everything like that. So yeah. I replayed yeah. it. I like I, I was looking through my Google photos just for like the last maybe 10, 13 years or whatever. And it was just amazing just looking at the growth, just looking at all the stuff, me backstage with them, uh, just different stuff. I mean, I'm filming the parking lot. You just see them roll up, jump out the car. Like, you know, it's, uh, it, it was crazy to look at all them videos, like stuff I never even, never yeah. posted. I wasn't ever about posting nothing. And, you know, I had them, you know what I mean? So I was just filming for fun, yeah. you know. Uh, but yeah, I still got those memories though, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I looked at a tape the other day, you know, and it was like prior to him passing, but 
he was in the gym every day working out, you know, uh, he was getting in shape, you know, uh, he was really, uh, he was really getting his shit together, man. Man, that's what's up, man. And we're gonna get into more of that, you know. Um, but I I don't wanna pass this part of it without getting into it, man. Uh uh the rapping part, you know, for you, you was the one who everybody in the hood was looking at it like, oh, okay, you're doing your thing and everything yeah. like that. So is that when you was on um, Big Thundercat? You know, as well, your I rap was, name and everything? I was Kev Mac rapping. Okay. I was Kev Mac rapping and uh you see Nip and all my in my videos in the background, he had no hair on his head, no hair on his face. Yeah. You know, he just in the he wasn't even from the hood yet. He just in the background. And, uh, every day I talked to him about the rap. We're trying to figure out what his rap name was gonna be. Uh uh, like I said, I was rapping then, uh, linked up with Nip. He was in the studio. I was coming out of the studio because everybody wanted me to rap for him, but like I said, I really wasn't as talented like Nip and like the rest of them, you know. I could rap. I'm I'm good at it. I got a lot of stories, but I gotta work hard at it. You know what I mean? Uh when I met Nip and he started rapping, I stopped. You know what I mean? It was time to uh it was like not, you know, I never inspired to be like a rapper, you know what I mean? It was a hobby, it was for fun for me. I always bought the equipment for the homies, you know what I mean? So that was never my dream, you know. Uh so me buying equipment and uh and listening to Nip, you know, it's like whatever he needed, pushing posters, uh, if you need a flyer done, whatever he needed, it was about, yeah, this guy's tight, you know, I'm gonna rap about number of hood stuff, that's all I know. <laughs> I can't yeah. rap about the fresh cars, I don't got them yet, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, he rapped about some stuff and I, and I still listen to the old stuff, you know, uh, when he first started, you know, and wow. it, that stuff right there, stuff that's never been released, never been out. Uh, I'm still stuck on that, you know, mm. the stuff I originally, when I first met him, you know, the, just what, what level he was on when I met him. You hear yeah. some of those songs, it's amazing. It's like, it's, it's crazy. That's dope, that's dope. I had to show him that I 